Hi, I'm Johnny. I'm a global artist ambassador for Phoenix 360, and I am blessed to be joined today by the international roots reggae artist, Lawgiver, the Kingston from Kingston. Hey, brother, how are you? Good to see you, Lawgiver. Yes, sir. All good, all good, all good. Give thanks and praises to the most high, you know, give thanks for having me on this program right here. Indeed, totally brother. Amazing, Welcome, you know I mean? man. It is great to connect with you. And I'm looking forward to sharing, Lawgiver, how you got involved in music and your journey and being an artist. But first, cool if we tune into your track, John ja Never Fail I. Yes, I. Oh, beautiful, bro. Okay, everybody, let's tune in now <laughs> yeah. to Lawgiver, the Kingston from Kingston with John ja Never Fail I. Flesh will feel you. Some will come with words smooth as oil, and I'm only intention is to the real you. So whenever things seem to be falling apart or a crumble, remember, Lord give us a whole feet and humble. For I know Ja, Ja, never fail. Blessings of Jah, 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 when a fake friend a player hate you Make that motivate you A size up Live and you learn A size up Life is a journey A size up Love to practice where they preach A size up But all I know I know Jah Jah Never fail I yeah Blessings of Jah, Jah, never fail I, yeah, in my guide and protect No oh, less in love, Lawgiver. Great to share your music, brother. Thank you so yes, much. Yes, yes. Thanks. Lovely. <laughs> now yes, tell sir. me, man. Lovely, lovely. You know, where, where are you from originally? And <laughs> how did you get involved with music? Okay, so Lawgiver, born in Kingston, Jamaica, grew up in a rural area in, called St. Mary, Islington, St. Mary, Jamaica, you know, and from St. Mary, from Islington, oh, I get to be inspired to do music, you know, my, my uncle had a sound system, you know, and he influenced me to you know, be a selector on the sound. Uh -huh. Plus my dad is a vinyl collector as well. Okay. So, you know, once once my dad, like on a Sunday, he would, you know, get up and go to my uncle's sound system to play his record. Once he touched that record box, he could never ever leave me. You know what I mean? It would be yeah. all crying in the house. So <laughs> I got my influence there, you know, and plus my with my, my uncle with the sound system as well, we had artists like Capitan coming through. We have artists like Panhead, you know, these yeah. are veterans in the music. So I watched them doing their thing, you know, and decided I want to do this thing, you know, from a tender age. Plus to add to that, I also have an, an uncle and a cousin in a ska group called Jug Johnny and the Italites. Oh, nice. So I used to watch them also do their thing. They had a couple of records playing on radio in that oh. time, you know? That's so cool, I'll give This her is that where I got my influence, my early influence. Yes, that exposure. You know what I mean? Your family, man. You're, you're, you know, you yeah, know, yeah. And, and the sound system and, and your dad just being so engaged in it as well. 
You know what I mean? You were really brought up and into the music. Yeah. And it's such a pervading aspect of culture there, you know, throughout Kingston and Jamaica and, Gen and the Caribbean. So let me ask this question then, bro. You know, mm -hmm. first, first and foremost, tell me about your artist name. I'd love to hear the, you know, the origin and kind of some of the meaning, if you will. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so the name Lawgiver, you know, I have to explain to people sure. every time, you know, how I got this name because it's such a unique name and people look at it. Lawgiver, the king's son. <laughs> so <laughs> how I got this name, right? Lawgiver, I, I, I'm a July born, right? I born July the 23rd, which is the same day as his Imperial Majesty, El Selassie, oh, wow. if one is in that that realms, right? So it was written in Genesis 49, you know, talking about the the, the 12 tribe of Israel. Uh -huh. Within that tribe, I am lawgiver. I am a July born, which is Judah. Yes. So it was written saying that the scepter shall not depart from Judah, neither a lawgiver beneath his feet. So with that, it said, Judah is thy lawgiver. And also born in Kingston, Jamaica. That's where the king's son comes from because Haile Selassie is, you know, Rasta, we, we, we look up to Haile Selassie as his imperial majesty, the king of kings, lord of lords. Right. So this is where the, the king's son from Kingston comes in. You yeah. know what I mean? So yes, lord give brother, up the I, I, No, I, I get it. It's beautiful. <laughs> it's beautiful. That's synchronicity cosmically, you know what I mean, with your birthday. Yeah, and, yeah um, man, natural. Yeah, man. It was bequeathed. <laughs> you know, and that feeling that inspires, that kinship that you have, um mm -hmm. with that line of judah is, is really powerful bro and, and so i appreciate having heard yes, the story sir. and also the greater story mm -hmm. of selassie and mm -hmm. his impact you know in rastafari and also yes, in, in our in our in our pretty yes, recent sir. history as well and so some of the themes behind mm -hmm. you know that powerful emergence Hopefully we can continue through in your music and through Roots Reggae elsewhere with other yes, artists yes. delivering a, a, a similar frequency of connectedness and power. Yes. So listen, I appreciate that. Yes, yes. And listen, also, you mentioned some artists that yes, you know, had come through when you were coming at a tender age. But also there are other artists that you may have looked up to as well growing up in that time. Who mm -hmm. are some of those other artists that yeah. you felt inspire you? Uh, like like in the earlier days, like like in the nineties, you would have artists like Bounty Killer, artists like Being a Man, you know, with the hardcore. Because when it, it comes to lawgiver, I, I, I I've been influenced by many genres because I'm I'm a lover of music as well. So in the eighties, early I, I influenced like you know singers like Sugar Miner. Mm -hmm. um, Burning Spear, which is one of my most Favorite. dominant um, influencer right now. You right. know what I mean? I'm like the bounty killer, as I said, the being a man, you know, to give that hardcore side of lawgiver. You know what I mean? Plus, sure. even even musicians like, like Sly and Robbie, you know, when in the earlier times listening to the, their production, it also influenced me to want to do music as well. You know? Uh -huh. to, want to learn the production side of the music as well. So I, I got my influence there from them, you know, from these yeah. artists. Excellent, man. You know what I mean? Such powerful artists and such, you know, masters yeah, of the craft. So you mentioned, you know, on the production side and you know, yes, other aspects of music creation. Uh, and then there's an whole other aspect of yeah. it, marketing and promotion and trying to, in essence, have your music being able to be accessible. Yeah. That people can reach you, you know. Yeah. So, yeah. I, it is with what you're saying right now in terms of promotion and marketing. Yeah. You know, in this time, you know, it, it's a blessing to have a platform like this right now to to showcase our music. You know, back then in the in the analog time when we used to use the, you know print the vinyls and so forth, it was not really accessible to to get your music heard by by others out there you know what i mean so it's a blessing to have the internet right now so we could connect with people globally that's correct and yes. we have to utilize it right now you know 
to be uh, here, but absolutely. to get it's what so, we deserve. It's so amazing what you say is true. And in the digital world, we can do that and expand to you know audiences in real time all over. But it's interesting also when mm -hmm. you, uh, you emerge in a roots capacity in the analog world when you became an artist and you know mm -hmm. I mean? and it was more challenging and the radio was the most mm -hmm. powerful way in essence if you could get your music played yeah local dj you know and get in essence local regional fan base perhaps it would expand beyond mm -hmm. you know the islands you know someone like Think about just how powerful Bob Marley was in connecting, you know, the, an international world and an, an analog at a time uh, that now is still so powerful mm -hmm. and pervasive. Uh, and so at any rate, we give thanks, yeah. right? Yeah, man. So listen, what are you working on now? I'll give so right now I'm focusing on, you know, finishing my album. The album, I, I just released a... a a single of the album, the title track for the album, which is titled Creation. Nice. You know what I mean? I'm I'm going back to Jamaica in a, in a few weeks to do the video for that song. And the song is titled Creation. You know what I mean? So yeah, man. With, with that and the album, with the album title is Creation. And also the single title is Creation. So I'm looking forward to drop it in April. Sometime in, in April, you know? Oh, give thanks. Man, that April, sounds so. great. And just you create. What a, what a great title. And obviously, it yeah. has much, you know, possibility for the seed that I know it, it will become. Uh, so let me ask this question. Yeah, man. April, we will look for it. And also, that'll be a music video. And the, the art, the, the works you've created to date, you know what I mean? There are great contributions. Can you tell me, you know, the themes of these mm -hmm. that you like to to create are there certain uh subject matter or or that you like to focus upon in your lyrics yeah I, actually I, I like to you know talk about you know things that are happening things to come you know uh -huh. the natural you know da daily life you know what i mean like i have this song this collaboration with half point we, we we talk about we sing about you know alive and kicking you know giving thanks for life yes. you know a song like janeva feel like it's a, it's a spiritual song that we give praises creation we talk about you know the king and queen together come together to, to create life you know what i mean yes i i got a song also on the album which which is where i, I, I titled irie which is a, a song we, we, we talk about the love yeah, yeah. So I have the song titled Irie with, with a, a singer from Bermuda. The song is, is like a love song singing to a lady, but in, in return, it's like it, we're singing to the plant, you know, oh, the cool. marijuana yeah. plant. Sure. You right. know what I mean? So yes, it, it's like thought provoking. Yeah, you know what I mean? I, yeah, I do. So like, I love when, it. when you check that song out, you really realize how deep we, we, we go within the writing, you know, to, to create that song. You know, listen, singing to a, 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 the plant sounding like it's a lady. Listen, that is a lawgiver. That's how yeah. it is, the kind of respect that you should treat all life, right? Is with just honoring and, yes, you know, sir. and, and I, I really appreciate that the, these themes, man, which are these spiritual themes and it's a connected themes and it's about love. Yes, sir. It's very upful, man. I, I really, uh, you know, I'm appreciating. Yes, so let me ask this question. If people are going to connect with you yeah. in the digital realms, how would they do that? Where, how, where are you in the social? Yeah. Um, right now, the first place to go, one to find me, is at lawgiversmusic.com. Lawgiversmusic.com. That's your site. On huh? my website. Love you it. Know, have all the links that, you know, to take it to Apple Music, Lawgiver of the Kingston. You know, Instagram, Lawgiver Kingston. You know, YouTube, Lawgiver of the Kingston. You know what I mean? You can find me on all these platforms with that. Oh, you that's know. that's beautiful. Yeah, man. You know, Lawgiver, we're also looking forward to you being yeah. on the Phoenix 360 app as well, man. So that fans can discover you there. Yeah. That's your music. I mean, yeah, I, watch, I checked you it out today. You know, you should, <laughs> should be there as well. You know what I'm saying? It, it's awesome, my brother. I, ch I checked it out today and I said, yo, this app is one of the best I ever come across because scrolling across it, it has this audio telling you what it's about you know what i mean it's 
super unique. Every artist need to be on this platform because this platform is going to take us places and people can be more like more connected with you, feel like they're a part of your family. The way how I see this app, you know, situated. Yeah. You know what I mean? Lawgiver. Yeah. So exactly. With that said, with that said, I have a few things I have to, you know, within every interview I do, you know, Mm -hmm. I have to talk about situation that artists emerging act like I faced, not Mm -hmm. just what I'm coming with or what has passed. So this is this is stuff that I, I, I have to talk about and w- which we are facing right now within reggae music. You know, there, there have been a complaint about, you know, the, the decline of reggae music and presentation of reggae music. Yes, the, 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 the people who are keeping the events, you know, they, they want, they, they are making sure that when they present their shows, they want to be, make sure they present their show on, on the best level to yeah. please the fans. But when it comes to artists in, in terms of delivering the work and their presentation, there is always a problem with an artist who's, who's trying to do the thing the way how Bob Marley, the Peter Tosh, the, the, the Burning Spear, and these veterans said it. Now, with an emerging act like me trying to present the music with a band, you know, most of these events want to want to cut short that you know they want you to come and, and, and represent the music with just four people in the band or no band they provide one band for the show to back like 20 artists you know what i mean yeah, so with with a person like me who is not going to compromise the sound of my music you know it's always create a challenge you know so i would like promoters to think about what they are doing to reggae music when they, you know, short, short change the people, you know, people hearing the music a certain way, they want us to deliver it a certain way as well. And we would really love for them to look into this, to allow artists to express their heart, to do their art the way how we, 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 we know to deliver. You know what I mean? Yes. Because it, it, it's a, it's, it's really serious. You know what I mean? Yeah, brother. I'm glad you had, you know, you, kind of are shedding light on this situation and that ult- ultimately the other yeah, members of, of your family and your, in your band and, and that unique sound that you all generate together, that you keep that integral. Um, and we don't yeah. homogenize these events. Um, necessarily. Yeah. No, no disrespect Definitely. to those uh, musicians that are part of that, but nevertheless, I, I do appreciate where you're coming yeah. from. Yeah, man. You know, so, yeah, man, definitely. Yeah, and yeah. you know what else is good to have seasoned artists like you also kind of you know addressing the music industry and what could be beneficial for reggae music and you know what I mean. And so uh, what yeah. I want is that this re- reasoning come to light. So I appreciate hearing from you about yeah. it. You know, man. So yeah. listen, we are going to follow the word you out. You know, you know, we're looking forward to following your progress, <laughs> Loggiver, man. Especially, you know what I mean, through our app and looking forward to hearing, seeing creation coming. So listen, I want everyone to tune in to the social media links you find below for Loggiver, the King's son from Kingston, that you'll find below our interview, man. And look for pick him, up, rising, pick up. For him rising on Phoenix three sixty. <laughs> and brother, man, bless <laughs> and respect. Yeah, man. and you have this Phoenix, right? My name yeah. is Phoenix. Phoenix <laughs> baby. So the rise of the Phoenix. So give thanks. You know, it's it's a pleasure being here. <laughs> and much love to the fans. And keep keep pushing reggae music to the heights, man. And whatever artists in the world, you know, much love. And thank yes, you for I. having me. You know what I mean? Yeah, yes, sir. One yeah, love. Man. Man. Peace love and love. Brother. Respect. Peace. Yeah, my respect. <laughs> She's so therapeutic. Organically grown. Your pick up. Yeah! Your love will make me feel lively. Yeah. I do 
house Give me the light, turn up the sound We no need company, just me and you will love Your reputation good, hello you world renowned Blessed by the king, you deserve the crown Put a smile on my face and the time you come around You live high up, you never let me down Stick to me like a long girl I got to let you know You're my love, my life Bye.